Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to replicate an existing Azure virtual machine from one region to another. Now the process and the service that I'm going to use here is called um, Azure uh, Disaster Recovery also known as Azure Site Recovery. Now to replicate an existing virtual machine, um, we need to access the operations uh, menu and click on disaster recovery. Now, just to give you a brief information about this service, um, the way the service operates is that it takes an existing virtual machine and create a replica of it in a different region. We can select any region, um, but the replication is instant, meaning that every change that happens on the source virtual machine is replicated to the um, secondary virtual machine, right? Um, and the beauty of this service is that we don't need to, to do much. Uh, we just need to understand how it works, enable it, and then gets to the more complex part of it when we need to do an actual disaster recovery. Now we will get to it in the next few videos, but in this video, um, I'm going to focus on just how to enable it and just explain a bit. So uh, now that we understand how, how the service uh, works, let's go ahead and enable it. Now, in my case, I have a virtual machine in uh, East US 2 region and I'm going to create a copy of it um, in East US region. Now um, uh, let's click, there's, there's two ways to um, enable it, either we use the advanced option or we just click start replication. Now I'll go ahead and use the advanced just to show you what happens when you use the advanced um, options. Um, if you choose to use the advanced uh, settings, you can actually change the configuration. Now, behind the scene, um, uh, the Azure Disaster Recovery Service will create not only a replica of the VM, but it will sort of create a replica of the supporting resources like um, resource group, virtual network, storage, um, uh, availability sets, etc. Um, so you can actually go ahead and change them uh, to different resource group or subscription. Uh, now the subscription part is quite interesting because if you have one of those um, Azure uh, credit subscriptions, you can actually um, offset your costs by using a freebie subscription and not putting it on your, um, you know, the pay-as-you-go subscription. So that's a that's a good um, option. Um, but uh, technically, you don't need to change anything here if you don't want to. Um, Azure is smart enough to actually uh, configure everything. Uh, once you're happy with the configuration, uh, just do review and click on Start Replication. Now, uh, depending on the existing load uh, between the regions, the size of the VM, uh, and all kind of other um, uh, parameters, uh, replication can take anywhere between uh, a few minutes, when I say a few minutes, less than five minutes, uh, to uh, maybe two hours. And this is all comes down to the size of the virtual machine and obviously the traffic between the regions. Now, uh, traffic between the regions is um, doesn't go more than the capacity Azure has because Azure almost have um, unlimited capacity. Um, so once replication is started, uh, you can um, monitor uh, the status. Uh, and once it's done, you will we will go to the replication page, the disaster recovery page, and we can track the progress. So I'll go ahead and pause the video and come back to it when the replication is um, sort of configured and the data is starting to replicate between the regions. Okay, so uh, after a few minutes, um, 
if you go back to the disaster recovery page replicated items you will actually see uh, the status right and all everything that's sort of happening now uh, just because um, we just I just enabled it nothing is really happening at this stage and we just need to wait for some action but um, the most important parts that you need to pay attention to when you enable it and after you enable it is the status right you want to make sure that your um, that the VM is always protected agent status is healthy and um, the last successful test failover is sort of um, uh, ticked so uh, we, we, we were going to look into creating a test failover um, test in the next video uh, but for now uh, replication is enabled and now um, protection is being enabled and meaning that things are being thank you for watching and in the next video I will show how to do a failover test and once again visit the blog um, there's a blog post uh, that sort of go through this process so have a read and I'll talk to you in the next video thank you for watching